Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and to the very first honey taking session of the year. Listen, this is our first honey harvest, isn't it? It is! Um, I'm here with Mum as always. We're just getting suited up, ready to um, go by the hive. Honey. See if that comb is capped. It looks like they're still filling it. Look, they're having a drink. No, that's not ready. So we can't take this right now because no. we need all of this frame to be capped with wax like this is here. So because that too many of these cells are still left uncapped, it means that it's not ready for us to take. No, it'll go off. Here you can see all the liquid honey inside, which is fantastic. But again, not capped. Now we have to wait a little bit longer. Yeah, gotta wait, I'm afraid. Pop that back in. No honey today, but that's okay. We'll um, we'll check up on them sort of once a week, and then I reckon we'll we'll take a load out in a month or so. But I actually thought that instead, whilst the hive's open, I could show you something called propolis. We already know that bees forage for two things: that's nectar, which they turn into honey, and pollen. And the fact that they get pollen stuck to them when they're looking for nectar is fantastic because it means that bees are great uh, when it comes to pollination. We call them pollinators. But they'll also mix some of that pollen with nectar to make something called bee bread. And this is the food that they feed the baby bees, the grubs, when they're developing into adults. But they also forage for something else. And that is tree sap. I'm looking for it now. It's that um, that treacly, sticky stuff that you'll sometimes see on tree bark. But the bees use this to turn into something called propolis. This thick, sticky stuff. And they use it a little bit like polyfiller. They physically glue the hive together. The bees use this propolis, this polyfiller, to seal the hive. And that's why sometimes you'll see us cracking open the hive with a hive tool, a piece of metal. And they do this for two reasons. Uh, one is to defend the hive. They want to stop others getting in, so they're protecting themselves. But also they do it to regulate the temperature. They don't want it getting too hot and they don't want it getting too cold. So by closing up all of those gaps, it stops any hot air or cold drafts getting in. But the bees will also use this propolis to mummify their enemies. Yeah. Pretty gross. So what might happen is that a small mammal like a mouse could try to get inside the hive because it wants that sticky sweet honey. But of course, if a mouse tried to get in there, the bees are not going to have it. So the guard bees will attack and sting the mouse. The problem is though, if the mouse dies inside the hive, the bees aren't strong enough to physically carry it back out again. And that's a problem because there's a risk of bad bacteria from the decay affecting the health of the hive. So instead they mummify it, they wrap it, they surround it in propolis and that stops those germs, those bad bacteria from spreading and it keeps the whole colony safe. So clever. Well, there we go. Um, so sadly, no honey today, but I hope you found uh, that little update and insight into propolis interesting. I know that lots of you love these beekeeping videos, so do let me know if uh, you enjoy them in the comments below. Subscribe for more, stay curious, and I'll see you soon. Bye guys. Honey. Honey.